All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to array these uh, trusses uh, across the, the various bays. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see about uh, grouping them. So what I want you to do is just select everything in on the um, on the truss and let's see if that takes probably easiest to do it in plan. Uh, I'm just moving to three uh, the 3D view just to make sure I've got everything. And then I'm going to um, go up here and I'm going to create a group. So that right there. And we will call this just Truss. Pretty inventive name. And the reason we're doing that is that what I've found is that this um, uh, trusses there. There's so many parts that um, the array it gets confused and often uh, fails if you don't uh, group it. So uh, when in doubt, um, if you're having some trouble with the rain, um, you might try. If it's multiple pieces, you might try grouping it. Uh, I would think of it like um, coating something with saran wrap, you know, and shrink, you know, uh, heat shrinking it together. Uh, for some reason, Revit likes that because it's moving one object as opposed to, you know, 50, um, which kind of makes sense. But anyway, uh, so, so I'd go back to the mezzanine level and at this point hit the array command. We've used the array before, so this shouldn't be anything new. Um, for exact spacing, you should reference um, you should reference the diagram I'm going to provide you for kind of all your various uh, structural elements. So I'm just going to make this be something along those lines. I actually might make this three and then yeah, something like that. Uh, again, you'll do uh, whatever it's been specified in the diagram. And then I'm going to copy that array over to fill the next bay and then I will copy that one more time both of those to fill this one um, and again I would refer to your structural diagram to know whether or not uh, these are all open or if like one side's open um, it'll all depend on the existing building that you're using for your studio project all right that's it